What's up guys, Ray here with another episode of What's New Japan for you. Telling you about all the anime that's coming out in Japan right now during their spring season with all the flowers and the blooming and the stuff that you'll never see because we don't really go outside that much and it's autumn in Australia. But that being said, let's get started on the anime. First up on my list for this week is an anime called Nandaka Velonica, which revolves around the main character Velonica who is a high-handed and ultra-selfish little alien girl on the Galaxy Network, who begins to cause havoc on Earth. After a fated encounter with an Earthling boy, Veronica wavers between a possible budding romance with the boy and her dedication to the arts. The arts of what isn't actually told yet, because the anime obviously hasn't aired. This is the spring season anime we're talking about, so it won't be airing until probably later this week, maybe next week. But it definitely looks interesting. The art style is a little cartoonish, a little childish, but if it's got a decent story, then I'm sure that it'll more than make up for it. But it does kind of seem like the storyline will be uh, aimed at the children as well. Next up on my list is an anime called Kiroro, who... Most people in well, an English-speaking country would know as Sergeant Frog. This is a new Flash anime of the original Kuroro Gunso uh, series, or Sergeant Frog series. And the, uh, the storyline of the original Sergeant Frog was that uh, the main plot of the story focused on the deteriorating conditions of the Kuroro platoon which was a group of five frog-like uh, frog aliens from planet Chiron of the Gun Gamma planetary system. And the platoon's mission was to invade and conquer Earth, but they fail miserably at each attempt, mostly because the main character, Sergeant Kororo, although he is the leader of the platoon, is very childish, incompetent, and would rather spend his time building plastic Gundam models than take over Earth. Uh, it was a... Uh, a slice of life, I guess you'd kind of say, uh, more of a car, a comedy series than something that was a strictly plot-driven and, you know, realistic anime. But it was still absolutely hilarious, absolutely popular. It did uh, get an English release, so hopefully we'll see another English English release of this series. But I wouldn't put my hopes too high on that one. Last on my list for this week is Kindaichi Shonen no Jinkenbo R, which is a new TV series of Kindaichi Shonen no Jinkenbo R. I, I don't know why I just read that out. It's basically a new television series of what I assume is an old series. I haven't actually heard of this one before. But in it is a high school boy named Hajimi Kindaichi, who usually seems dull, but when there is a case, I assume like a murder case or something, he demonstrates remarkable deductive skills inherited from his famous detective grandfather. Now, like I said, I have never actually heard of this one before. It's not actually being aired until next month, but it sounds an awful lot like one of my favourite series, which was uh, Detective Conan which was an amazing series, and I highly recommend that people read that or watch that one. But yeah, this one definitely sounds like it's taking the same route as Detective Conan, although it seems that it's taking a more realistic approach than what T Detective Conan did. So yeah, it should definitely be good. It has a very uh, shonen art style, uh, similar to that of stuff that I can't really remember right now, uh, but... I, I guess it kind of looks a bit like Yu-Yo-Oh uh, for older kids. So it should definitely be good. It's got a very solid storyline behind it, sounds like it. And yeah, definitely check that one out. So at the end of another week of Watch New Japan, I've told you about a remake of Kuroro Gunso, a new series that sounds suspiciously like Detective Conan, and a brand new series about an alien girl that pretty much falls in love with an earthling boy because we've never had that story storyline before ever hopefully one of them appeals to your sense of anime viewing pleasure i'm ray this has been another episode of watching japan catch you on the flip side